So the elements of how this all began was Sarah had a vision of bringing people together and really thinking about what connects people. And one of those common elements is music. White Sulphur normal, on a normal day has like 800 people, you know, if everybody's home. And then when Sarah does her thing, there's 15, 17,000 people here. And it's strategically located so that every one of those people has to come through, through White Sulphur Springs. It's, it's a big boom for everybody. But now I'm wide awake, yeah. Foundation are currently the support behind uh, this festival. So a lot of people come to this festival to have a good time um, without the knowledge that it's a basically a fundraiser for all this great work that the Red Ants Bands Foundation does. The festival benefits the foundation. The foundation makes grants all across Montana um, to just incredible projects. For example, there's these two women who are spearheading a library for Big Sandy and to have them speak to um, you know, these initiatives of creating a community place um, where all people can come. It's much more than a library. I'm very, very grateful to this foundation. It's, it's a huge thing to see another small town have some individual in it that decides that they can do good things for other people and actually do it. We kind of feel that's what a library is all about, is giving someone a leg up, you know, you need info about something, this is where you come and find out. What I'd love people to know is that we're all creating this together. Everyone is a part of this, from all the residents of White Sulphur, to all the volunteers, to all the board members, to all the staff, to all the festival goers. This is just one of those amazing experiences where it, it really takes all of us to create this.